So your personality mind, uh, the part of you that is uh, yang and interested in delivering results in this world is really focused on outcomes and goals. And that's great, uh, but we're really good at that. Um, we've really got that down. So the question is, if we are to become evolutionary leaders, where do we focus? Well, we make the shift to rebalance. We don't get rid of the personality mind and delivering outcomes and results. Of course, that's a given. But what we can do is bring it back into balance a little more. And where do we look? Well, we look to the being, the being that you are, your inner being. And the inner being is more yin energetically. And what that means is the inner being is more interested in the process of becoming. So it's more interested in who you are becoming, not so much what you're doing. So the thing is, how do we bring this into balance? Like, how could that show up in a practical way? Well, one way could be uh, ask yourself this. Have you got a business plan? Bet you do. But do you have an evolutionary plan? Do you have a character plan? So yes, you're clear about what goals you're going for, but do you have clarity about who it is you want to become along the way, along the journey? That's one way you could actually bring a little more balance into this expression of who you are in this world. Another way you could do it is just consider, for example, exercise. The mind will be focused on the outcome of get fit, whereas the being will be interested in the process of cultivating a daily exercise practice. Likewise with meditation, right? I wanna become Zen. I wanna have mastery of my emotions. I wanna have connection to my inner being. That's great outcome, but you're not gonna get there just by focusing on the outcome. You've got to apply the process of becoming by cultivating a daily practice of meditation. So it's not complex, it's simple. However, do we do it? My question to you is, are you truly committed to evolution? Because if you are, you've got to look for the place where you've yet to evolve, not so much look to the place where you already have mastery. And I would bet you already have professional excellence. Maybe it's time to consider bringing in more essential brilliance, the brilliance of your being. I hope you find this helpful. My question to leave with you is, what can you do today to bring the process aspect of who you are and who you are becoming along the journey more into balance in a very practical way? What's the one thing you could do to become more process focused?